Welcome back to another day in State Paradise. I am your host, I'm the Caledonian State Wrangler. Uh, in State Paradise right now is no I would call this place that. I didn't tell you about my big five, the big five hearts. Uh, the Fox Water Cobras, Loki and Hyza, then I've got the Taiwanese beauties, they come there, my Mufasa. No problems, none at all. Big Sasamaru down in the bottom, as you already know about her, the giant bull steak, no problem. The last two, Comanchero, the Sonorian gopher steak, Hingenya, you know, I was telling you about the nature in this thing, the crab in this, this thing, Genya, uh, the jungle carpet python. Now, in the last three days, Genya and Comanchero have both had a right good go at me. Uh, I did say to you, when you get into Vibs and all the rest of it, uh, some snakes will tolerate it for so long. Whack. Common general note is getting to that stage that he's not even tolerating you one second. Now I've got to get in here the day with the bathroom. It's cleaning day the day. Now, I've cleaned all the rest of them all the way around the whole of them right up to this section here. Uh, I've got to get in and take them out. Now common general note, which I never ever wanted today, I've got to use a hook. I've got to hook him now to get him out. Uh, he's in the other now and he's actually having a look at me right now. Uh, as I said, the fun goes at me, but they've never get a chance uh, to get me. So I'm just hoping, you know, that this is going to come out of them now. Maybe with the hook, it's fine. I've seen hundreds of videos on TV. Folk can't go in, take them with their bare hands, take them out. And, you know, I really never, ever wanted to use a hook. Uh, Honest to God. So Snake Paradise is now coming down a couple of levels with Kenya and Comanchero. So I'm now going to go and have a wee look at Well, Dave Comanchero first because I need to get him out and I need to clean him. So it might be a wee bit yeah, risk factor with this guy in here now. I'm going to try and hold the, uh, the camera this time and try and hook him, which is. It's not going to be easy, let's put it this way. I'd love to just put my in and grab them and rip them out, but I think you'll be. Okay, so let's go and see Comanchero. So there's my wee homemade hook up there. As I said, it's probably needed for him now. So we'll get his locker. Let's see what kind of mood he's going to be in. And he's actually quite alert already. Hi son, you come in it, are you? You come in it, come on. Big the hook, he really is. So I'm going to get the hook and I'm going to take him out with the hook. Once he's out, he's normally all right, but it's getting him in. He just doesn't like your horn near him now. So, we're going to get the hook. And we're going to hook him out. That he's probably not going to, he doesn't really appreciate this. One son. Now, as I said, everything's got to come out there anyway because he's getting cleaned out. So I need to take that for him. As I said, I've been cleaning left, right, and centre for yesterday. Yeah, and he needs clean. Okay, right, you come in, come on. So I'm going to go back up to him. As I said, it's quite hard holding the car when see what you're doing here. Come on, son. Look, and he's actually right at me. He's going to let me handle him. Okay. Oh, so that's common, Cheryl. Right, son, I see. He's come right over the tablet. He's right over the tablet. He's got to see him. So, he goes into his basket while I clean him out, as I said. Did it get so dark again in here? Oh, this damn, damn. You know what I really do? There's she with a tablet, there's no handle to hold it, there's nothing. So you're touching the screen and everything just goes dark. So he's in there. Now we can see him, he's not too bad. He might let me touch him now because he's no in his viv. Yeah, no problem. It's because he has the in his viv, he'll let me touch him. But he is. He is now viv aggressive. Okay, so, right, come on to put you in your basket. Come on. 
Come on, they are so, they are a handful, like I said, they really don't like getting held. So I'll shove them in there the new. Get them out of the road, Jim. Oh, so he can't actually come out of there. So I'll go over there and I'll get them cleaned out. Well, that's Con and Cheryl, all cleaned out. All oh, big, nice, big for that boy. Nice and clean. Now, as you see, I use, uh, I use kitchen roll. I don't use forest floor anymore or substrate or anything like that. Because with all the vips that's in here, there's over 40 vips. And if they've all got substrate and things like that, uh, when it starts minging, I don't know where the smell's coming from. But if you're getting a snake yourself, you know, obviously it's not a big five, but a corn snake or a ball python or something like that. You can get some because if there's a smell, you can get some sort because you know exactly where it's coming from. Now we're going to go over here and see what he's going to be like. He's been in there now, nearly five minutes. So we're going to see what he's going to be like when he comes out. As I said, it is viv aggressive. It's just a case of you're invading their personal space and they don't like it. I've already explained this in other videos. But he should be alright in here, you know. This is no his vivsa, there shouldn't be a problem. So let's get this lifted. Like I said, there's a huge difference between being in a box and being in his viv. The viv is his home and he does the light you go for my son. Oh, and he's fine, look at that. Absolutely fine. Hey yes, sir, as I said, I can't do this with his viv. He's just not going to allow it. So it looks like we're going to have a hook snake all the time. Um, here is his right. One I'll try and put this dirt in and let you see him. But as I said, he's brand new now. There's no chance he's going to bite me now. Absolutely no chance. Now he's trying to get my own, so I'm going to have to stop this video. So, there we have him. There's we common Cheryl, you know. He's just like a wee kitten now. He's out his viv. But as I said, snakes do, do get viv aggressive. And as I said, with the big five, I'm actually expecting this, you know, with some of them. Uh, it's just a case of, I can mess about with them out in the open flare, that's fine, this is my personal space, but they don't allow you to do it in there. Now, it likes, most of them will allow you in for a couple of minutes, no problem, you can clean and all the rest of it, but this guy's just not letting you in. It's just a case that you're invading his space and he does not like it. Sure you don't, you don't like it. Nah. But like I said, these snakes don't like getting handled in the first place. They tolerate it, but they just don't like it. Now he only shed again, believe it or not, about four days ago. So he's now shed twice. Twice in the last three weeks he's actually shed now. But he has, I can feel the weight on him now and he is getting bigger considering what size he was when I got him not that long ago. But he's actually alright now. He's no gonna bite me now. But like I said, in his viv, it's a totally different story. That's his domain, that's his personal space. And he's just telling you, you know, bug it off. So he's just not gonna allow me in there. So I'm glad I actually made that wee out there, sir. Now it's coming in handy. I'm going to take him out quite a lot to try and, you know, as I call it, break him in, to try and tame him. I'm going to keep him, but I don't think it's going to make the slightest bit of difference. The minute the doors are open, he's going to get into a defensive mode. So we're going to put him away now and I'm going to step with the rest of the thing. The next guy I'm going to take out is the other problem that I go with me. This is Genya, the jungle carpet python. Now, I did take liberties with him, uh, with her, sorry. <coughs> uh, and it's new, they're just, they're no babies anymore, you know, they get to that stage, babies, wait, they go and play, and then they come to a certain, they can't be bothered playing anymore, it's just a case of them new reaching adulthood, and they just don't like or tolerate getting handled, they're getting messed up with, you know, it's just a case, she's actually walking out right now, I can see her. She's waiting to me opening that door, but I don't think I'll have the same problem with her as I will with her. When I open her door, it's no vid aggressive, it's a food response. She thinks she's getting fed. A lot of snakes associate their doors with food. She certainly, certainly is one of them. So I'm going to put Common Cheryl back. Share my son. 
you've actually been quite good for your big brother. But I just hope it's going to be just that aggression by it. It's not going to be a food aggression, you know, because there'll be a hard state to hold on to that he's wrapping right around me to hold me tight. Three years said, uh, you're big brother, so I'm going to put him away now and I need to get the Kenya out and clear. In fact, Kenya needs a bulb, so I'm going to go in there and get Kenya out. Okay, so that's Comanchero cleaned out. So I'm now going to get and get Kenya. Now I can see her looking out her head. Uh, she's got her head out, you know, the hole. Now, like I said, the lad, never put your hand, open the door, put your hand in, and put your thumb into the hole to lift up the hide because she's going to take it, that looks like a mouse, and she's going to whack you. When you're grim, always take the vibs for the side, away back for the whole foot, preferably the furthest away side, lift the vib up. Uh, but with Kenya, she now associates her door with food, so when she hears the door, it shall come. Now, as I said, she's had one, he three or four at me. She's had one strike at me in the last three days. And like we said, we know about her reputation, we know what kind of nature she's got. So, I've just got to convince her now, get the door open, listen, you're not getting fed, and take her hide off her and lift her up, she should be fine. But, if I open the door and I try and bug her about there while the hide's still in there, It'll be a, it'll come into a feeble response. So we're going to get her out. Now I can't bring the camera away. We said this should only be one minute. Aye, girl, come on, it's not food. Come on, come on, girl. I know. See, I'm talking to her. She knows dude, there's no food getting put against this hole, but she's really looking out. Hey, right, come on. Right, come on, you. So I'm lifting the height from the very, very back. Come on, head. And she's fine. Okay, so I need to get her cleaned up. And she's actually fine. She's no bad. Yeah, you're no bad. But as I said, she done right whackery a strike at me there. Just about two or three days ago. But like I said, these are no for beginners. I mean, getting a ball python, then getting a jungle carpet python. Now, it's not even on the same level. You're stepping off one ladder onto a much, much higher ladder, you know? And if you're fear for heights, it's just a case of the higher you go, the bigger the risk, and that's just the same with these. The higher you go, the bigger the risk. And she wants to come right up to you, but she is. What a lovely snake. Just a shame about her temperament. But look how far she can stretch you. But she's fine now. She knows I'm no feeding her. Uh, again, hopefully she's going to be the same, you know. Once she's out of her she's going to be okay with me. Uh, as I said, I have allowed her to come round my neck in the last couple of times. I took her out. But the other day there, when I did take her out, wow, she missed me by that. And I, as I said, you don't want bit off her. No, even this size, you just don't want bit off of this. But, like I said, for a ball python to one of these, it's crazy. Now, I've been doing this now for five years, solid. Every single day I've been taking it 20, 30 snakes. Uh, they all day know me, but the big five, I've got two problems. Her, with the foot response, and him, he'll just not let common general, he'll just not let me into his mouth. So I've got to use a hook as you saw there. So I'm not going to clean Gen out, she seems to be no bad. So we're going to clean her out. Okay, right. Snakes in a budget. Now, a lot of people actually think keeping a snake is quite expensive. Well, it's not, unless you're going to get doing the commercial road, you know, retail and all that crap. Uh, for instance, forest floor, substrates, uh, UV lighting, um, thermostats. Listen, that's all bullshit. Many snakes don't need all that crap. Now, in some places, if you're going to come tree, you'll find yourself a nice corn snake or a ball python. Now, I've seen these snakes gone for sale at £120, and that's with a fifth or their setup, ornaments inside it. Now, you any idea how much the ornaments are? Now, you have put a wood, treated wood, you're talking about £30, £40. In fact, I've got one up there, I don't know what I've done there. But they're all treated, you know. But uh, you can actually buy a viv with all this in it if somebody's maybe getting rid of a snake. But 
know these snakes, you know, know the big ones. Start off, you know, with the corn snakes and all that, the ball pythons, start off with them, and you'll get to know that these guys are really know the stuff of nightmares. Now, like I said, uh, all that UV and all that crap, you don't need it. The snake will live at room temperature. Substrate, yeah, I'd say get substrate because if you've only got one, then you've no problem. If there's a smell, you know, when they've crapped after they've egg, normally within three or four days, uh, you know where the smell's coming from, right? We're in here, I don't, because if I'm at substrate and keep all these vibs and start to smell, I want to know where the smell's coming, and you know, it does get strong after a while, you know. Uh, so I use kitchen moulds. You can use kitchen moulding, and when the kitchen mould turns yellow, you know, okay, let's change it. And that's how I know in here, I walk about all my vibs, I check all the kitchen roll, any yellow, the, the pissed. And it's just a case of, does it long to change it? Now he's been changed now. His, Vibs are her vibs is all cleaned, all ready to go. She's ready to come back in, but she hasn't got a bolt. Now, like I said, a bolt will do no problem. Now the animal might get near it, maybe the first time, but after that, it senses the heat of it and it'll no go back near it. It knows that's its source of heat. Uh, so I had a lot of problems a while back there because all I was getting was hundreds and hundreds of screwing moulds and mines were all DNA things. But then I discovered that you could buy adapters and they're only £2.25 for a set out of, you know, B&Q. You've got the BNA adapter and you've got the, what do you call it, the, the screwing adapter. So I'm going to show you this. That baby, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Oh my wee lassie, there's my girl going up there, you can go if you get up. Right. So, one minute, I'm going to show you this. Now, as I said, buying bulbs was, uh, buying bulbs was, uh, we can shut her over. <laughs> I had any kind of door was opened on that side. Right, so that's getting your back in her head, so she's quite happy in there. So, like I said, buying bulbs, now this bulb has been out. So I realised that when I opened the cage. Now you just take the bulb out. Now it's just a bayonet bulb. That was a fire go actually. And now we've got a screw in. Now it's all I've got is screw ins right now. But like I said, there's these wee adapters you can buy. Just wee toty adapters that turns into a screw in. And vice versa. You've got a screw in, it can turn into a bayonet. So we just get the bayonet in. I can get the camera up, right, okay. So, all we do, turn the bay bayonet on. Okay, and that's the bayonet in. Now, as I said, because of these bulbs here, that was a bayonet, so that's not good now, that's actually rubbish. So, into the bin with that, and then you get your new screw-in bulb. And this should just come on. And there we have it, and a wee bit of heat off it, you know. As I say, I use 20, 25, uh, sorry, 25, 30, you know, watt bulbs. Now she'll get a slight heat off of that, but snakes can live in room temperature. So this is just a wee kind of extra. At night time, all these lights go off at night. I put them all off. As I say, a snake's not going to freeze to death, you know, knowing this weather. It's warm in here. Uh, and the summer's due, you know, the summer's virtually here actually because it's actually quite warm in here. But that's it, as I say, if you get problems with bulb, just go and get them. Now these adapters here, these fittings, now this bit came with it, so I just went to home hardware to get these. And you're talking about two pound, three pound a fitting. You've actually got grip on ones, I'm trying to see where the grip on ones are. Now, oh there they're there, right, it's in. His cage, who's that? El Diablo. Now, I don't even see, oh, he's away at the back, he's having a wee look at you. But there's the grips, that's the ones I'm talking about. Now, these just squeeze, you know, and you can grip them on, you buy them like that. And it's just a case of putting the bulb in there. Maybe drill a wee hole in the vent to put the wire through for the plug. And then that there will grab onto any branches or anything like that. 
Right. Like I said, a lot of folk are not, a lot of folk are just worried about it. It's too expensive to keep us to be a steak. But if you're going to listen to all the retailers, you know, the production side and all that, all you need to do is that. It's just, you don't need all this crap, trust me. Certain steaks you probably do, but no, these steaks. These steaks will all live at room temperature. So, go to Gumtree, pre oved um, and you might find a corn steak with it set up, all the expensive ornaments in it, it is a bargain. You know, get normally your, the ones I've seen are normally 120, 120 quid. And that's you get everything. It's just a case of bringing it home, plug your feather. Uh, as I said, lights is fine. You can actually, if you're worried about a light because it's low, it's exposed, it's too near the steak. Like I said, the steak will go near at the beginning and then it realises that's the heat zone and it will go away. But you can buy bulb girls that have the lamp up there and the way. It's just a car that is all the ball and it attaches itself to the same other side whenever you're back in it. Or as it's a cage, you know, you put it over the ball, steak can't get near it. So if there's any kind of worries about that, then the cage takes care of all that. Now, the last thing, uh, once you've bought £120, you can buy your own accessories there, but you know your own budget. Um, feed it. Now, you're as well just buying a bit, you know, you can buy 10s or 20s in a pack, 20 mice, frozen. You can actually get them in Amazon and places like that, and they get delivered to the door. Now, you might be talking about £12, £14 tops um, for one snake. Now, they mice is going to last you right, what did I say, 10, 20, 20, so you get two, 20. Uh, it's going to last you well over eight months. So you're paying now, what, £14 for eight months feeding. You know, and there's no problem there. Just make sure it's got cold water every morning. And the snake pretty much takes care of itself. You really don't need to do a lot. But do go in and take them out. You can take them out daily if you want. But like I said, there was an expert that said once a fortnight, it's no good. Once a fortnight, it's no good taking a snake out. I mean, one or two of these I would handle right now if that was the case. They just simply what they know me. So, your snake will learn, it'll interact with you. Clean valve. I would suggest kitchen bowl instead of the substrate. But if you want the substrate, there's going to be something to bury under it, you know. But I prefer the people have go to use a kitchen roll because I wouldn't know where the smell's coming from. If, it, if it's yellow, clean it, end off. So, that's your snakes on a budget if you're ever wanting one. Uh, I've got a couple in here I'll need to get ready shortly, you know. I'm, I'm, I want to step up to the mirror, you know, exotic, like the big five I've got in here. I want to get a couple mirror like this. As I say, ball pythons, corn snake, they're all right for beginners. But I want to do, try and step up a wee bit, you know, and get a couple mirror, you know, venomous snakes. Uh, so... If you're ever wanting a snake, as I said, it's no expensive, just go to Gumtree, 120, and if you ain't got all the fittings with all the rest of it, that is a bargain, Consider the ornaments and all that for snakes are extortionate, and that's all it is, it's retail, retail, pushing into you, oh you need this, you bullshit, trust me, a snake will live in your room, it'll live in room temperature, just put a bulb in if you want to get extra heat and belt, get put a bulb in because it does need some heat or something. And then put it on for an hour, half two, put it on for an hour, half two, do what you want. You'll know yourself with the heat inside of it to put the bulb up, but get 25 watts. Don't get 60, 80, you're just going to cook the steak. It's going to be too warm for it. So normally with the water dish in it, you know, and you put a 60, 80, 100 watt bulb, you'll see your glass and the viv misting up and that's the heat in there hitting the water and that let, that's a telltale sign that will let you know that the viv is just too hard okay so that is budget on a snake or snakes on a budget snakes on a budget okay I knew I would get everything right so I'm 
I'm going to get back and finish after cleaning. I've only got a couple of hours left today, and then that'll be me finished for the day. So I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, with the problems with the big five, and I'll be getting six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hopefully, I want to get near kind of, you know, big house. Uh, and obviously, snakes on a budget. It's not as dear as what you think. It's actually quite cheap, and as I said, a snake will take care of itself all you days, pick it into it, uh, and you'll get to know yourself. I don't need to do you any, you know, advice when you know, once the snake's in there, because you'll be given to take it, pick it up, and you'll get it. You know, the snake's fine. Just get a simple corn snake, ball python, a garter snake, or even a wee rosy boa, you know. You, you really can't go around. Uh, so I'm bringing this video to an end. I'm going to continue with clean get this done and I'm going to settle to get my dinner. As I said, I've been at this a few years ago. Uh, I started it yesterday, believe it or not, because the amount of snakes in here, it's a lot, a lot of cleaning. Okay, so I'm going to catch you in the next video. Take care and I'll see you all later. Okay.